What is up YouTube? Today is a beautiful day here in Florida. Today we're gonna be coming at you with a banger video today. We're gonna be doing a shorter style effect. I used it in a gym effect. I'm gonna show you guys the example, but you guys can use it for anything. You guys can use it for music videos, short form content, whatever you wanna repurpose this effect for, but you guys will be able to use this effect in the long run for anything you guys could ever imagine. This effect is straight to the point and it's super simple to use. Actually stick around till the end of the video because I have a surprise for you guys. So we're gonna jump into DaVinci Resolve right now, guys, let's get it. All right guys, and before we hop into DaVinci Resolve, I have to tell you about the Texture Bundle V3. This is hands down the greatest pack that you guys can get on the market right now. Guys, that's what I'm gonna be using in this tutorial. They're drag and drops. But so many people ask, how can you use it in DaVinci Resolve? Because it's mainly for Premiere Pro and After Effects, but I found a way to get it to work in DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use this. This is a game changing effect. It's literally so simple and easy and you can get it done within minutes. And also if you click the first link down below and use code Herit, then you guys will be able to get 10% off your purchase. So make sure you guys do that because it's only available for a limited amount of time. But let's get straight into DaVinci Resolve right now. All right guys, so right now we're in DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna actually show you the gym edit before we get started so you can get a better understanding of what you'll be learning today. Now that you guys have seen that gym edit, we're gonna go over a few effects that are absolutely game changing. So I really like to go to the beat. So in the beginning of the beat, it kind of has this, this shifting effect. So it goes like, <laughs> like that. So you can hear it subtle. If you can actually hear it, you can hear it. So that's what we'll start it off with. So I kind of start it off and as I'm walking in, I, I add uh, three frames of my foot of the clip and then I add three frames of my foot in the middle and then I have my foot in the back. So it kind of looks like a glitch effect. And now this is my uh, camera shake. Um, I made it. It's a makeshift camera shake, it's right here. First of all, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to make this shake. It's super simple to be honest, guys. First things first, you're gonna add directional blur. You're gonna turn your length to zero, come to frame zero, keyframe it, go all the way to the end, and then bring that sucker all the way up. Now you won't be able to see it right now, but you will be in, able to in the finder because we're trying to keep it on a adjustment clip so that we will be able to reuse it. So after you have that, you go to the spline, you're gonna select it, zoom to fit, we're gonna highlight it, hit S on your keyboard, and instead we're gonna bring it down this way. So it kind of creates a cool zoom in effect like that. Okay, so, but we're not done. Now we're gonna keyframe glow. We're gonna go all the way to the end and we're not gonna bring it up too entirely much. We'll bring it up probably about there disconnect the length on the spline and we're just gonna basically do the exact same thing highlight this hit s smooth it out and then bring this down all right super simple as you can see we're already starting to get this effect like that but we just need to add some sauce to it okay so what is that sauce we're gonna add a camera shake we're gonna turn the x all the way down i don't really want the x we're gonna turn the y quite a bit up so that's where we want it around there. We're gonna turn the randomness down. Overall strength can keep their speed. We're gonna end up taking it at one, but for now we're gonna come on keyframe zero, turn the speed to zero, keyframe it. You guys know the drill, all the way back up to one. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing. Okay, so highlight this, S, bring it down. Now you should have a crazy effect like this. And if you guys see these edges like this, just go back into your finder and go to the edges and do mirror so that you'll fix that ASAP. So now you won't be able to have those edges like that. So now for the effect that most of you are gonna want to know how to do is this crazy paper transition that mm. will transition into my next clip like this. Now my computer is running extremely slow because this is a lot of effects. Under paper transitions, I'm going to take this rectangle grow and we're going to drop it down into the timeline. Okay, so as you can see, it's just a paper effect and it kind of just grows into it. Now, if you're a Premiere Pro and an After Effects user, you have a very big advantage. Okay, so first things first, we're going to do, I'm going to hit 90 on the rotation angle. We're going to just zoom this up so that it fits inside my little box. I decided to make it 1080 by 1080. Then we're going to come over to the composite composite mode, you're gonna turn this to screen. As you can see, we're already starting to come to life. So the first thing you wanna do is locate every frame that it goes and grows. So we're gonna go three frames, okay, four frames, we're gonna hit a, we're gonna cut the clip. We're gonna go another four frames, and we're gonna cut the clip. 
we're gonna do another until we see that frame keeps growing. So now as you see, the effect is done. So once the, the paper lines are completely off the screen, you know you're doing it right. So we're gonna go into this first one, we're gonna hit the Fusion page. I forgot to mention is you must locate two clips that you want to transition into. So I have this, this clip of me uh, kind of putting on the weight rack and then I wanna transition to me lifting the weight, okay? So what we're gonna do is once you cut it all up, we're gonna hit the Fusion page and you're gonna hit the Spline tool for better results. Hit the Spline tool selected, that's all you need to do. You need to make sure it's on your media one and we're gonna hit Invert, okay? We're gonna hit Zoom to Fit, we're gonna go 200. Then you see this small box, we're just gonna mask this small box out like so, just like that. So if you want to really get in depth, you can kind of just move these edges around for a perfect looking effect like this. Okay, just mess around with that. But the really big one that you need to make sure you change, you need to make sure it's at 0 0.04645, whatever it is, that'll really make sure that it's it's really looking like it's gonna transition into, because it's really it'll really soften the edges to make sure that the paper is really giving a paper effect look. So after you've done all of them and masked all of them out, you should have an effect that looks like this. Now I'm gonna get so much comments on how to do this effect. It's actually way more simple than you guys think it is. If you guys decide to download this pack, which I very encourage you to do, there will be a PSD file for Photoshop. You're gonna go ahead and double click that. This is gonna take you into Photoshop. In here, it looks like one giant mess and this is basically all the other effects that you will get with the pack as well. So this is just honestly an add-on to the pack and this just makes it 10 times better. So we're just gonna go under these and just deselect all of the ones that I don't wanna use. I'm just gonna do a star as an example. So under stars, we're gonna hit the drop down menu. I wanna use the one where it splits. Under here, you can see we have a star. You're gonna take a screenshot. We're just gonna import it here into Photoshop. Okay, so once it's above your star, you think it looks good, we're gonna come over here, double click your layer, hit create clipping mask. This is gonna put it in the star. Now you notice there's no paper texture. So come over here under normal, we're gonna hit screen. So as you can see, we have a fire paper effect already. So now it's actually already masked out. So now you can see you could just deselect and reselect these. You're gonna import both sides of the stars and you're gonna bring it into DaVinci Resolve. So in this timeline, I have a different frequency of paper effects. As you can see here, I have an oval and then a star as well as this little rectangle thing right here. So I basically did the exact same thing, but I found the oval clipping masks. I did the same exact thing as well as the this one right here, the horizontal one. So this is just my compound clip for the star. Personally, I went ahead and did two frames just because it's such a small star. And as you can see, it's that simple. Once you have your clip, you see that it kind of just papers in like that. To really bring it to life, once you have your compound clip created, we're just gonna create this camera shake. I put the X and Y deviation as just as little as I can really go. The speed, small as it can possibly go, just cause it's not a crazy big effect. Then I added my oval and then my rectangle. And then I add my other paper transition, which goes into the final part of my clip. Now to really tie this all in, you have to add effects and add more energy. I got some feedback off of this clip and really, really brought it to life. So. What I did here was a crazy zoom in effect. I think it made it look 10 times better. So as you can see, it kind of zooms in on this paper collage and it, and it makes it look 10 times better. So what I did for that is I installed, it's called Magic Zoom. Okay, so you're gonna throw that above this clip and it basically does all the work for you. This is what my, my settings are. I have it at mirror and I have the zoom scale at about 0.3 and then a really big one is if you wanna add camera shake, it'll bring it to life as well. Okay, so now once you're done with all those things, you should be left with a crazy gym effect. Now guys, I really hope that this inspires you to go out and create things because even if you don't have this pack, there's still many of free assets that you can find places on Canva or even TikTok. There's just so many people who give out free assets. You just have to really actually want to go get that out there. Or if you want to get this pack, V3, it, it's a game changer, honestly. It's, 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 you just saw what I could do with the pack. Imagine what anybody else can do and what you guys can do with this pack. So anyways, guys, that is gonna conclude it for this uh, tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys have a blessed day. I hope you guys are very productive today. And for those of you who are wondering about the competition update, that will be my next video I post. There wasn't enough people to apply for the competition, but now that I have enough people, that video will be posted very soon. Thank you guys for staying patient. Peace out.